Hello everyone, today we are going to find out more about the different types of forces. Forces, as you would have known, uh, is defined as either a push or a pull. The first example of a force is what we call uh, as a frictional force. So frictional force actually is represented by a small f. Uh, you will use this symbol very soon when you are drawing a free body diagram. It arises between the interaction of two surfaces in contact and usually the direction is parallel to the two surfaces. Um, frictional force arises when things are moving and as what you have known, it opposes motion. But do be careful, uh, even when two surfaces are stationary, there can be frictional force acting on them. A very good example is when you have, I have a slope and I have a box and the box remains stationary. Now, what keeps the box stationary uh, and uh, that doesn't allow it to, to roll off the slope is actually frictional force, which is actually pointing in our outwards direction along the slope, which is parallel to the two surfaces of the box and the slope. Now, a second example of uh, force will be our normal contact force over here. Now, normal contact force is actually commonly known as a supporting force. Um, it arises again because of the interaction of two surfaces, but the direction of this normal contact force is perpendicular to the two surfaces, unlike the frictional force. We commonly use a capital N to, to represent normal contact force. And in the example of a box on the floor, um, the reason why the box doesn't fall into the floor is because the box is supported by a normal contact force, by the floor on the box. Similarly, uh, for the box on the slope example, the reason why the box doesn't go into the slope is because there is a normal contact force that acts perpendicular to the, to the surfaces of the slope and the, and the box. A third example of a force will be gravitational force or more commonly known as the weight. Uh, mathematically, weight is given by the mass times the gravitational acceleration, where gravitational acceleration is commonly given a value of 9.81 meter per second square uh, near to the Earth's surface. Now, for example, let's say my mass is 70 kg and um, to convert my mass into my weight, I will have to use 70 kg multiplied by 9.81 meter per second squared, and that will give me 686.7 newtons, which I will write it as two significant figures, so it's 690 newtons. And therefore, my mass is 70 kg, it doesn't change uh, no matter where I am. My weight on Earth is 690 newtons and my weight which is a force will definitely change let's say if i travel to the moon or you know if i dive deep into the sea now the final example of a force that we are going to talk about today is the tension force we use a symbol of capital t to represent the tension force which arises because of uh, the stretching or compression of a spring or the stretching of a string all these forces can be classified uh, under contact forces or a non-contact force. So for example, frictional force is a contact force, normal contact force is a contact force um, because these two forces require two objects to be in contact with each other. Um, tension force is a contact force too because it requires the rope to be connected in contact to a, a box for example. Now, weight is an example of a non-contact force. Um, weight or gravitational force can take place across distances. It doesn't need um, the two objects to be in, in contact with each other. For example, uh, the Earth's uh, gravitational force actually pulls an apple off a tree and makes it fall to the ground without uh, physically having the Earth touching the apple. Other examples of non-contact forces include magnetic force and electric force. You will need to copy the notes on the four different types of forces into your class activity 2.1 on page 1 and page 2. 
Now, a little bit of trivia. So, if the force in Star Wars is indeed true, then this force will be classified as a non-contact force because it has the ability to push something across a distance without being physically in contact with the object. With this, I will see you all for the next video.